So I'm just gonna toss it. But that's the thing, like, do I need to keep one for that just in case moments? Oh, here we go, a full box, a diaper box too. Fill this stuff, this is all gonna be donated. Well, it's pre-holiday time. Right now it's about two weeks before Christmas and I want to declutter some of my house. So toys are some things I know I need to declutter and get rid of as I have made a list for some grandparents and some aunts and uncles and they will be, my girls will be getting some more toys for Christmas and there's just things that if it's broken, I'm gonna toss it. If they haven't touched it in a month or two, we're gonna donate it, give it to another friend who would like those toys. So I think it's important to get rid of as we take in because otherwise we're gonna become hoarders and collectors and our house is just gonna be full of stuff. And I live in a thousand square foot home with two girls and another one on the way, my husband and I do. And so it is time to purge some. I have some clothes I know I need to get rid of, and I know the girls probably have some clothes that they need to get rid of, and so we're just gonna go through the house, take a few minutes in each little location that I feel needs some decluttering, and hopefully inspire you to do the same. If this is after Christmas for you, that is great too, because you've already taken inventory of what you've gotten, but it's just the time of year to think, what can I donate, what can I get rid of, so that our house is not overloaded with stuff and that we can focus on the season. So let's start with some toys here in the living room toy box and we'll move to the um, bedroom where the girls are at with their toys and possibly the basement with their toys and then hit some other spots. And I'm gonna enjoy my latte, maybe watch a Christmas movie while I do that and get going on this. This toy box is one I do try to go through regularly as it is in our main area. And so I try to keep it pretty minimal with just books and a few smaller toys. Their larger toys are in the basement and a few in their bedroom. So I just took a few little toys out, a few things that um, just needed to be moved as well and only got rid of a few items from this, but it was still nice to go through it and see what we still had in there and then i moved on to the bedroom and this is the toy box they have quite a few books again some smaller toys they do have a few larger toys in their closet as well but again i kind of just reorganized and assessed what was in there and you'll see what i ended up getting rid of it's so nice to just be able to go through and declutter and kind of just um, like i said reassess all the toys that are around All right, so I made sure to grab a laundry basket for things I'm going to donate. I've gotten quite a few items here. Um, some, a few things from their closet. I'm making a little bag of garbage. Just some like crafty things we had. A broken Easter egg. Like I said, if it's broken, I'm not gonna keep it. Some um, just other little things that we don't need to keep or things that have fallen apart. So I'm getting rid of a few books. Um, a few like little toy cars that we don't need. Some baby things, like this book was given to my second and we never ended up filling it in, using it. That would be a really nice gift to re-give to a little baby. Um, we have a lot of friends who are having their children. Just some extra like poppets, little dolls, things like that they don't use. Like a one little swim diaper. So all of that is going in there to go donate or re-gift or give to friends, some things to throw away. Um, yeah, it was really pretty easy to get rid of some of that stuff. And I know some gifts were uh, given uh, from friends and could be sentimental, but if we haven't ever read it, if they don't play with it, it's time to go. So this is one area that I don't show much. It's in our basement, and so it's just a little kitchen play area. Our basement is unfinished, so this is one area I think I'm going to struggle with because we're not down here that often, so there's little things they play with when they're down here, but things that I don't know if they actually will miss them if I took them away. Um, this was just a broken blender, 
but they love using that for kitchen stuff. So, you know, keep stuff like that. And it's funny because that was something I had used. So it's a real appliance piece, but not even a toy. Those are sometimes the most fun items. But things like, so we have other building blocks, but we also have these mega blocks. And they're not touched very often. We have the Duplo Legos and our girls are one and a half and three and a half and they really like those Legos. These ones, maybe just because they're downstairs and not played as often. So I might put those aside, ask my husband what he thinks, but little bags like these, old makeup bags, I think I'm gonna toss those or donate them because they really don't play with them very often. Um, I found this little piano at a thrift store and they don't play with this much, so I think I'm gonna toss that or re-donate it, honestly. It was $1.50 at a garage or thrift store. The kitchen set and the food, of course, I'm gonna keep. These are still good, especially since I'm having another little one. This one, I'm not sure about this one because I also have this, so it's a toss up. I really like this one, the wood, but I also know they like this one more. So maybe I'll keep both for now, put one in like a potential donate, like this one possibly, and then see where we go from there. Okay, so here we go, a full box, a diaper box too. Fill this stuff, this is all gonna be donated. I have my things, uh, that's a maybe, and then to re-gift, I think, or ask if family wants some of those. So here's my next spot I wanna tackle. It is our linen closet that's at, at the end of our hall. Um, I got some new towels because we've had our bath towels since we've been married eight years ago. And there's just some things worn out about it. I wanted something a little more fluffy. So I'm gonna declutter some of those, turn them into rags, ask family if they need extra towels for kids or, you know, dogs, stuff like that. Um, we have our medicine cabinet here, some of our extra soaps, we have the linens, obviously. So there's just a few things I need to go through to check and see. Do I still need three pairs of sheets? We have an extra bed downstairs as well on our bed. I pretty much just rotate the same one all the time, but you never know. It might be nice to have one on hand. Um, but that's the thing, like, do I need to keep one for the just in case moments or not? So I'm going to think through what I want to do and declutter some items out of here as well. So I do keep homemade bar soap in my sheets just to make them smell good. So that's what I pulled out. But I did decide to get rid of that extra sheet set and it felt so good and you'll see that later but all these little totes I really like just keeping pretty streamlined and clean. I hadn't really gone through my linen closet in probably 6 to 10 months so it was nice to go through that. I also have medicines in there and like some extra sewing kits, extra bathroom supplies, things like that. So it's just nice to again go through everything that's in all these little totes and create more space and I think it's okay to have empty spaces, empty, empty shelves. It just to me it looks nice and organized and not cluttered.
everything is really looking so much more streamlined. We had some old medicines. I didn't need five little medicine cups for the girls or little syringes, so a lot more stuff fits in there. I got rid of some commercial lotions that we don't use because we use all more natural type. Um, this just looks so much better. I will be putting my hand towels back here, obviously, and um, switching out to the white towels that go here. I went through my sewing. I had that white shower curtain that was in our bathroom. I moved that out and we'll be donating that. So let me show you what I have. So this is all stuff to toss. All those alka seltzers were old. And then here's this pack of towels, an extra pair of sheet or a sheet set we don't need, that shower curtain, like I said, some of the lotion. So this has been a good closet to clean out. All right, now I'm in my bathroom and I'm decluttering my kids' bath toys. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. They don't even play with it. I think I might actually take it out for our little kiddie pool for the summer and use it there. And then we have two cups to like, dump water on them. This one's actually completely broken. So I'm just gonna toss that. And then I just have cups left and some little animals and a couple of books. Cause I know for Christmas, one of my girls is getting some more um, bath toys cause that was on her list. Cause they just get a little bit bored of the cups and I could take some of these outside for summer play as well. So it'd be nice to declutter a few of those things that are um, broken or not played with. I'm also in my makeup drawer. I have this here and this here. That's all I have for makeup. Um, there's a few things in here that I don't use anymore. So like this, I did something with them once, but I don't use that or this one and this one's almost out. So I'm just gonna toss those because makeup stuff goes bad anyways pretty quickly. Just decluttering a few things out of here that I no longer use, that are broken, that I've had for too many years. And I, like I said, I have pretty minimal makeup supply. So I'm not too worried about having a lot in here because like I said, this is all I have and it's really gotten me through well. So this, I don't use Mary Kay much anymore, but uh, I don't know when they expire either. I've had it for over a year, so I probably, I probably should just toss it. I think I'm just gonna toss it, or actually I'll ask, I'll ask a family member if they would like it. All right, this is the extent of what I'm getting rid of in the bathroom. I don't use that type of floss. I don't do my nails really much ever. Um, an old toothbrush that I'll probably just clean with. A free random little packet of lens stuff here and that's it. So I guess a couple other things I just found. This was for our towels and it broke off our wall, but we will be remodeling our bathroom here in a month or so, which is exciting. So I'm just gonna toss it because they're all rusted out and gross anyways, that whole set. And then we don't use these type of things in our house. So I'm getting rid of some of those or gifting them. It's just so nice to declutter these little spaces um, and get all this out of my house before I get more in. The bathroom here took five minutes to clean a few things out. And so just cleaning everything out before we're getting more in at Christmas and before the new year has even gotten here. I'm gonna start my video by the tree and I'm ending it by the tree, but I hope you got some inspiration to do some decluttering in your home. Things that are broken, things that aren't played with, things that aren't used, things that are expired. Just get rid of them, donate them, ask someone else if they would like them. It's just that time of year and honestly, I declutter all year round. So I decluttered my clothes when I shared my winter capsule wardrobe especially being pregnant so I just got rid of some things that I didn't even put on for all of fall season or that I was like eh, it doesn't even fit right I'm not gonna want to wear this next year so just get rid of those things that are uncomfortable for you that are taking up space that you think you need to keep 
and just make space for your family, for you in your home, because clutter can just make your mind overwhelmed and we don't want that during this time of year. So anyways, I hope you are having a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next video. Love you guys.